Hello, welcome to Pacific Drive. Well, it's not time to drive yet, but it's time to upgrade. Over here at the terminal, you can do a lot of things. It's actually just the beginning of the game when you have a few upgrades over here. You can probably just take the medium backpack, the matter regenerator, and of course the crafting, the matter the constructor over here, which will be very useful in a second. But here is also where you research stuff, so you will need to research the light bulbs. Amazing. <laughs> and other various materials like the steel sheet. As you can see, it's pretty easy to do it. Hey, that's mine. Like it's mocking me at this point. I also make the circuit boards and some of the other stuff that will be super, super useful along the way. And this will allow you to do a lot more things, I think. Well, probably the tutorial should have, should have covered this a little better. And you have to fill this up with unstable energy. What is the unstable energy? What is the stuff that you, you get from the anchors or whatever? I don't know. Just play the missions and you'll get a lot of it, eventually. And for this you'll need unstable energy. Over here you can even upgrade your tools. The one thing that I think you should get... Yeah, corrupt energy as you can see. Is the magnetic hammer. That will be super useful along the way. So let me see. Yeah, sure. Let's do this one as well. And one thing I saw that I couldn't collect while I was out in the... Yeah, I don't have any more energy. Stable, unstable, corrupt. Was the hand vex. I should probably have crafted that at some point, but yeah, next time. Now, I also really, really want the bumpers. Because the bumpers is the thing that I cannot really build. So you have the crude bumper and you have the steel ones. Olympium and other stuff over here. Steel door. You can see it has more health and more impact raises, so probably we should make this one because I have a feeling we will, will hit a lot of things. Also, regarding speed, you need to have the wheels, the better wheels unlocked as well, as they have more, more capabilities, especially the off-road tire seems to be okay. It seems to be very good. The side racks, you can put a lot of expansion so racks on your car. More for the trunk, more for the fuel tanks, I don't know, you can do a lot of other cool things as well. Probably the battery will be one that I need, because I saw that the battery drains super super fast. <clears throat> but also this has a scan the wriggling wreck anomaly, and also unlock a side wreck. So as you can see, some of these will have more and more requirements as you go into the game. Mobile work, we And of course the engine, probably we should make an engine as well. Oh, that's a lot of stable energy that we need. But since we unlock those things, let's see what we can build even more over here. Yeah, no chance of making that. Well, I guess we just need a circuit board for this one. Yeah, but you need so much stable energy. Tax machine. Eh, I guess this will be able to be built later. I guess we can also build another storage locker, so probably we should make this one. Okay, so we need three more steel sheets. Oh yeah, also regarding, this is the metal deconstructor over here, this is the generator. You can have the oysters in there, that's how you break them open. The dumpster pearls. Well, there are some other things you have to take into consideration. I think you can repair them or sometimes they'll have a status or something. But... Oh, nice. Most of the times you just put them over here and you get a lot of cool stuff. Still shit, you cannot craft this, it's tier 2, so you need a tier 2 crafting thing. 
Probably can craft it at the workbench over here. Yeah. It also see how much you have in total. So we have six in total, so that will be okay to build a thing. <laughs> I really wish they would add more light over here, but I understand why they don't add more light. So over here it will be okay. So this would be just a normal locker, right? Right. Yes. So as you can see, you'll need tier two on the car or bench to create the, uh, these things. But at the same time, you can just create them over here in your little house. And yeah, probably I should have used my materials a little better. come back also one thing probably people haven't noticed but if you get the backpack upgrade is huge <clears throat> because not only you get a better backpack you also get more quick slots so more space over here and more quick slots as well i cannot tell you how important that is that you have more slots well let me see be four and this will be five I think you should always carry canned food with you because you never know when you're going to get in trouble. So you can basically carry all of the basic materials with you or the basic tools. Yeah, that looks a lot better. Up front get. Hmm, very interesting. Anyway, let's go to the next adventure where we'll just be getting a lot of items and also the stable energy stable energy is what we need right now yeah and we also need probably the first upgrade i have to make is another car battery as i'm running out of power super super fast or at least the other thing that will allow me to get more power for the battery Okay, I never get used to this one. Also be careful because sometimes there will be a big anomaly over some of the areas and you don't want to go into the areas that have the big anomaly over them. Which in this case is E1. I, I instability. But I think you also get some other resources. As you can see it says low stable and low unstable energy. While over here I just... Hmm, well, I guess some of this will have more energy overall. Anyway, it doesn't matter. You also need to uncover the entire map to get access to new resources, new blueprints, and also new challenges overall. I think the game is great, but my biggest problem is that it's very, very badly optimized. To the point where it's not optimized at all. Also, I went to the trouble of just reading all of the notes for this. Touch and go. Relaxer with my vehicle. An anchor of obfuscation. I don't think so, it's harder to precisely locate them. Yeah, that would be a problem. So I don't know. I guess you just have to get used to the night maps, the rain maps as well. Holy moly! Holy moly! Are you kidding me right now? Up, you saw it too, didn't you? Tell me you saw it too. Saw what? What do you mean, what? Hallucinations! Like the ones from 1961! It happened again, just a quick blip, like blinking your... Wait, you didn't see it? I was in a total blackout. Colossal Cappy fried my systems. Right, because sending the driver headfirst into Cappy didn't work out like you said it would. Big surprise. I was 
Spare me, Francis. The driver's alive and your remnants verified. Isn't that all you wanted? Now, why are you two yapping about the mass hallucination? When Cappy amplified the remnant signal, it triggered another hallucination event. But it only lasted three seconds this time. And, and not only that, we picked up that its source was northwest of us. Specifically... Yeah, somewhere in the deep zone. <sighs> That's impossible. It's been... 40 years. Yeah. I think this is like Tarkov. Yeah, you need to drink, you need to do a lot of stuff. Sadly, they don't really tell you a lot of information. I really, really wish they would just modify the writing to be easier to understand over here to read and also tell you information, not flavor text. Flavor text is like spices. If you put too much of it, it's not going to be good. And that's not all. This hallucination wave that triggered, we picked up its waveform. And it turns out it's equal and opposite to the remnants waveform. They're paired signals. It means they're related. And, and, and what's more, if we bring that car to whatever this mass hallucination source is, we have a chance of nullifying the remnant and breaking its bond with the driver. A simple destructive interference. Oh, <laughs> this is insane! After all this time, we find a remnant, uh, lean on the mass hallucinations of 61, and a possible way to free the driver? Pinch me, Francis, because this is the best thing that's happened in decades. Just when things were getting dull. The remnant Does. It was key to the mass hallucination. This whole time. Yes, and you nearly destroyed it. I... I need to go. This is huge, Francis! We have so much work to do! I know, I've already pulled every report on the mass hallucination event. Uh, driver, listen, you stay safe out there. We'll report back to you once we've gone through all of this data. <laughs> There's a lot of it. And, 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 and be careful. Oppie's not in her right mind, okay? So, uh, watch yourself. That's okay, this map has already been looted. Why? Well, I looted it. Oh, no. Yeah, but I, I think we have enough plastic for the entire game at this point. Transmitter. What if you put plastic in there? Okay, so this will make my gears into gas cylinders, which is amazing because I can craft the gear but not the gas cylinders from what I remember. So we should probably do a lot of those. I guess the problem is I don't have enough gear on me, enough scrap metal, because I didn't think I would need it over here, so oh well, well, I guess this was a wasted opportunity. How does this work? Let's gear into gas cylinder. Maybe I need more of them, I don't know. Probably that's the idea. Anyway, the idea is that this exists and you can use it. I didn't see the ability to gain gas cylinders normally. Oh well. It's so bright in here. Well, I guess you have to go around this thing. Yeah, 
Okay, let's loot more houses and then we'll go further ahead and see what's up. Yeah, I don't have the hand back for that, sadly. Okay, what is that? I think it's just the normal things. I really wish to tell you how these things work. Oh well. I guess when you're in the zone, just improvise. Oh, what is this? <laughs> this refrigerator is filled with everything I would need. Ah, so apparently the best way to get items is to take the refrigerator. The map showed that multiple houses over here, but I only see one. Yeah, I don't really feel safe out here. Wait, that's a real anomaly? These dumpsters are fueling my <laughs> my entire adventure. Hello, tourist friend. I'm sorry I'm not getting the main thing I need to get, which is the stable energy. area over here. Oh, I only found one of these in the other mission where I had to go and activate a gate or something. Hmm, nice. Fresh can di dumpster diving. <laughs> it really feels like a human arranged those. I like that. Transmitter gear to chemicals. Yeah, I really wish it would have been a little easier to understand. Now I am too far away to go back for the for that transmitter, but I really think I should go back to make my gears into the cylinders. It's apparent that the gas cylinders are one of the hardest things to get. Okay, so this is just another looting location. Fine by me. There's another thing with the shining red dot on top of it. Freeman. <laughs> uh, that's not no, an ordinary sky. Oh, 
Wait, I didn't see this when I was approaching the area. Did I completely miss it? Probably. Ouch. It's painful. There are not a lot of things in here. Oh, Artak Great. Yeah, this area of all area is low loot. Very, very low loot. Now, I see what the developers are going for, but I think it's one of those games where they just have a lot more style than substance. Okay, so that's how it works. Okay, so you do get a prompt for it. That's nice. Oh, why here? Yeah, the anomalies will appear beside your car, apparently. No, not that. Ah, why? Sometimes I don't like how you are so... You are supposed to make these silly mistakes just... <laughs> just by being in a hurry, I don't know. Those routes, how are you supposed to avoid some of the stuff so now? No, no. <clears throat> this is definitely not a very... Hey, easy now. Yeah, the, the game is simply cheating, so if you're playing this with uh, a lot of the options deactivated, you probably not like the game so much, so yeah. I guess those are just simply mines that we can, if you touch it, explodes and damages your car a little bit. Why is there a blue light? I don't like the blue lights. Looking at me, no hitchhikers. No, I'm not that curious. I'm like, it's, it's okay. It's okay. If you're not curious, you can just leave. Okay, and it also feels like you have to repair your car and do whatever you have to do before you leave an area. And we never got to transmute the gears. Yeah, this thing is useful, I like it. Like I keep saying, check your headlights because they're the ones that are going to get smashed. Your tires. Okay, the car seems to be in order, even though that was a very rough ride. Yeah, I guess this means it has taken some damage, but not a lot of it. We have... Yeah, we have enough energy, okay. 
Let's go to the next area. That was, that was not so bad. It's just a lot of you getting used to the mechanics of the game. I don't want to go into the high instability zone. So let's see what's in this area. You have the damp forest. I guess yeah, will, you will have the dry forest as well. I don't know. Yeah, that, not being able to see where the stable energy spawns was a big, big problem. the warrants. Funny anomalies. Oh. Oh, and about those anomalies. I don't recommend you spend much time around them. Unless you've got a death wish, in which case, be my guest. When we're all dead and gone and live technology, but a footnote in the history books. The anomalies will remain. They're the legacy of our work here. And the Olympic Peninsula belongs to them now. It's a storm. I wish I had the electric. No, not the electric. I don't know. There's an item that lets you recharge your battery if you get zapped by lightning. If the car gets zapped by lightning. Somehow it's much safer if you go on foot to get this stuff. Oh well, okay. Let's let's pretend we're Indiana Jones. At least we don't have stamina. Hey, don't mind me. It's just me carrying a big jar of radioactive Nutella. Everyone wants it for themselves. Yeah, I'll... it will take me such a long time to drive here with the car, and besides, it will damage the car to such an extent to... that it would use up all of my resources, especially chemicals. Also, this thing will damage you if you carry it. Okay. This is definitely not safe at all. This is a high traffic area apparently. Still no hitchhikers, please. Please tell me that's enough. Oh, that's enough. We can leave. We can definitely leave. But sadly, that means you have to go all the way back, the way we came from, which is again frustrating, frustrating gameplay, <laughs> frustrating mechanics. Why? Why could it not be somewhere near me, at least in my general vicinity? I'm not going back to get the other one. There's no road to that area. Oh, nice, 10 FPS. Yeah, this could have been probably in the game of the year, if they would have fixed all of the problems with the optimization, the mechanics, the way the game works, and also some of their political views will, will be annoying at some point. 
I don't know, just a lot of wasted potential, okay. Let's let's get out of here. Oh yeah, I forgot the fact that the anchors change dynamically. Who even designed this mechanic where they change so dynamically to the point where you will have to go back and forth? Hold on, yeah, that's my only choice over here. says drive like I have any other choice. Well, it's, it's a beautiful day to try and escape. Yeah, the FPS is driving me crazy. But that's kind of like the biggest problem only and not the only problem. Yeah, the only reason I chose this area is because it's near the road. Relatively near the road. Oh no, yeah. I forget about it. Just drive straight through the light. Or straight to the light. Why? Okay, come with your eyes, kids. That was deeply unpleasant. I... I owe you an apology. I screwed up. I nearly got you killed. The things I used to calculate as easily as turning a screwdriver, they're foggy now. The numbers don't work themselves out like they used to. I haven't been myself for a long time, but I haven't needed to be. It's been me and this cursed place I created and nothing else for decades. But now, knowing that whatever caused the mass hallucination is still out there, I need to know what it is and why the remnants are connected to it. Francis was right about the remnant and the mass hallucinations paired signals. If we can get them together, maybe they'll cancel each other out and you'll be free. It's a shaky theory at best, but it's the only lead we've got for now. You can do nothing and twiddle your thumbs until that remnant drives you mad. Or, if you're willing to work with me, I'll give you the best chance to survive this thing. Think it through. And fix up your car while you're doing it. You'll need to for whatever you decide from here. You're stabilizing a way through. Fax machine. Yeah. This is a door, really. We got about it. Oh, yeah. yeah let's get. Yeah, the free stuff was not so good today. Wait, what do you mean? E to use and E to do what? Well, at least it can store all of the other stuff. I guess it's nice how it's made. I thought it would be a little more interesting, but it's not. Uh, athletic simulation station. The what? Athletic simulation station. What for? What would that do? I 
Campbell at Junction, Junction Bypass. Oh. Huh? Oh, the adventure workbench, that's for our car, okay. Well, I don't like the upgrades from over there. We should probably just get better bumpers and stuff like this. Still bumper. Sure. I guess the most interesting part of the game is the part where you do the upgrades and think about what you got. Also, let's make this thing because we can extract materials with it. Let's can get in the tool department. How many bridges does it take to charge a light bulb? Oh, light replacement kit. Okay, we can we can fix the lights with it. I really wish it would be more in more descriptive of what it will do. Crop energy. That's for much later, I guess. Low torch. Durability 450. I guess the blow torch is something we'll really really need, but we need. The unstable energy to make repairing things a lot easier. Stable as well. Headlights. We have the. Yeah. Looks like it uses the same amount of power. Relightable flare. Okay. Seems like that will be an important tool as well, relightable really flare. Yeah, it seems like it doesn't make sense. So lights will also give you stuff that will help you light the area. Crude flashlight, unstable energy. Yeah, it seems like it's very hard to do, right? That will go into the bio flare and some of the other stuff. Bio lantern. That sounds interesting. Error. Side floodlights. Oh wow! Unlock a side rack. Sure, sure. We'll unlock the side rack. Still shit. Okay. Yep. So much scrap metal is needed here. <laughs> Do you put that? I mean, huh? you have a limited amount of space in the base. I'm not sure how this was this is supposed to work. Wow, oh man, the developers should have should have a lot of problems explaining what they have to do. Well now what? Okay, let's try the car over here. Like I said, I'm tinkering more with the mi with the car after the mission than in the mission.
I don't know what the purpose of this thing is. Inca station. Oh wow, that's a big red screen. Yeah, but... A side rack. Maybe I didn't read that right. On the side of the car, okay. But where? Because I didn't see any place I can put it. I also forgotten what I was trying to unlock. Oh no, this over here, side floor light. Okay, so you have the side floor lights. <sighs> I think I understand what they want me to do. Yeah, okay, you need to go near the car to unlock this thing. So it seems like you can fill up the gas can. And it will stay filled up. Can you? No, okay. So I guess you have to refill it during the travels and then it will be much easier for you to refill your car to the point where you don't even need to refill it during the mission itself. Also, before I end the video, I just want to test one more thing out. This thing over here. <coughs> it's healing it by music, I guess. So don't destroy the crew doors. Because you can just pick them up like this and just put them over there to heal over time and just have a supply of them so you can switch them out. Oh, we have a steel door in front, okay. Ah. I guess in this case we can destroy it. Let me see about those doors. Can we advance to the steel doors? Yes, we can actually go... No, the steel panels will be first. Hey, don't throw it like that. It's rude. Okay, that's all of the energy we got for today. I'll work on tinkering with the car a little more to see what I can do with the floor lights and some of the other stuff if, if it's possible and we'll be ready for a new adventure next time. Uh, does it matter where we'll if be going? If you're ready to do this with me, here's a spot of good news. We aren't completely helpless when it comes to the instability. Back when the zone was active, we built ways to get where we needed to go. I need you to head back towards Sierra. But don't worry, I won't make you jump into Cappy again. When you're feeling up for it, take the route back to Sierra. I'll tell you what's next once you're there. The mass hallucination. I can't believe it happened again. I can't believe I missed it. Oh, okay, you cannot unselect the destination, apparently. Oh, well, see you next time. Bye-bye.